Speaker, uh, I yield uh, two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Self, a member of the Committee on Foreign Affairs. Gentleman from Texas. I thank my colleague for yielding the time. I rise in support of H.R. 2, Secure the Border Act of 2023, because it does just that. It secures the border. I find the comments from across the aisle rich from the very members of the party who caused the situation that our citizens are seeing on the border today. The year before the, board, uh, the Biden administration took control of the border, CBP reported roughly 400,000 illegal border crossings. First year in office, President Biden, 1.7 million. Last year, it rose to 2.8 million. I'm not sure whether that's arithmetic or, lo arithmetic or logarithmetic, but it is huge. Unlike many in this chamber, I have visited multiple locations across the, across the Texas border to Mexico. I saw four unaccompanied boys, eight to 10 years old. What was going to happen to them? I saw rafts making multiple trips underneath the very vision of a border control location. People were helping the uh, illegal immigrants out of the rafts and up the little uh, uh, cliff that we had there to include a one-month-old baby that had been born in Mexico. I can tell you that from being on the ground in South Texas that there is no coordinated effort to stop the flow of illegal opioids like fentanyl that kills nearly 300 Americans every day. There is no coordinated effort to stop the flow of illegal immigrants, many of whom are being trafficked as sex slaves or cheap labor. Human trafficking has now surpassed drug trafficking as the profit center for the cartels. We have indentured servanthood in this nation today, slavery by any other name. Earlier this year, I introduced the El Chapo Act, which allows us to use the billions of dollars worth of assets seized from cartel members like El Chapo to build, <coughs> excuse me, to build the wall. Our southern border is an unmitigated disaster, and without this bill, the ensuing chaos is going to get worse. I implore the members of this chamber from Texas reserves the gentleman from New York is recognized